Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I'm the Flexibility Guy, Coach Alia, and in today's video I'm going to show you a 15 minutes routine to stretch your hamstrings and your posterior chain. So all the muscles that are in the back part of your legs, so the hamstrings and the calves, in the back part of your hips, so your glutes and your lower back as well. Okay, so with this routine you're going to improve the flexibility of all these muscles and your posterior chain okay but before I start let me ask you to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notifications so you'll never miss one of my next videos okay with that said let's start okay so this is a 15 minute follow along routine so I'm going to do the exercises with you guys but uh, before we start you need to make sure that you have all the equipment you need to do this routine here as you can see I have uh, a bunch of stuff here so first of all you need a bench okay make sure that you have a bench or maybe a cha two chairs or something like that just to sit down with your hips on a chair and maybe uh, one foot on the other chair but of course a bench is really better here you're going to need also a weight okay and some yoga blocks because never do your stretches without the yoga blocks okay so first make sure that you have all this kind of stuff here maybe pause the video if you're not ready and then we're we'll we will be ready to start okay so the first exercise we are going to do i'm i'm gonna do it live with you guys so you need your bench you put the bench here okay and this exercise here is called the one leg pike on the bench you can find um, a deeper explanation on my youtube channel here okay on mobility academy so uh, throughout this routine i'm just going to show you the exercise okay and uh, as i'm going to do that i will also add some explanations here and there okay just to let you understand how to do it but we want to keep it short because you have 15 minutes to do this routine here okay so get ready to start okay let's turn the timer on okay and let's go okay so first exercise here you sit down on a bench okay you square your hips and you keep one leg in front of you bent like this as you can see here I have my front leg bent okay from this position here you touch your mm, front knee with your chest and you grab your foot or the bench okay you straighten your lower back and you go down here you try to stretch this part of your leg here the posterior leg okay you need to feel the stretch not under your knee but you need to feel the stretch here under your glutes okay uh, of course in your hamstrings muscles now you stay here you breathe regularly six to ten breaths I am at four five and six now I want to make a PNF contraction here okay so I'm gonna push this heel down against the bench okay so i push 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 10 to 15 seconds i push 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 and then i hold the contraction 10 to 15 9 and 10 and then i stop the contraction i inhale decrease a little bit the stretch exhale i try to as you can see i try to get deeper into the stretch I really try to flex my my toe here try to flex my ankle I want to feel the stretch here I don't want to curve my back I want to keep my back really straight again six to ten breaths I'm at five and six 
another PNF contraction now. Push, 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 down, down, down. Two, three, four, five. I push here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I stop, inhale, exhale. And now I, I wanna find my deepest stretch here, okay? I'm just showing you this variation here, okay? It's not important that you completely straighten the leg and you go down. Just stay wherever you feel the stretch in the correct way, okay? You remain here. Last six to 10 breaths. I'm gonna do six, so I'm three, four. I wanna push my hips back. Really, I wanna like push my butt behind me and six okay now i straighten my leg completely as you can see i don't touch the knee with my chest anymore i just want to spend a couple of breaths here it will be really hard for you stay just here try also here is good just find your range just finish the position with your legs straight okay and then we change the legs Okay, you ready? Other leg. Of course, this is a 15 minute routine. You can just stay more here. You can maybe you can do another PNF contraction or you can stay 10 breaths and during the, the position, it doesn't matter. Okay, but if you have 15 minutes, 15 minutes, that's what I suggest you do here. Okay, so again, chest to the knee i push my butt back it's really important guys here i go into the position six to ten breaths and three really inhale exhale four five And six, I wanna push my front here against the bench now, a PNF contraction to relax more in the stretch. I push, push, push. 10 to 15. Come on, guys. Nine. And 10. Inhale, decrease a little bit the stretch. I don't wanna change this angle here. I wanna keep my leg at the same angle. And now I wanna go deeper into the stretch when you go deeper try to push your butt back and push your front heel forward keeping the contact between your chest and your knee again i'm at two breaths here three four five and six another pnf contraction i hold the contraction one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten inhale exhale try to get deeper a little bit one, two, three, four, five, and six. I straighten my leg and I wanna find my range here. Just a couple of breaths. And that's it. Okay, so this is the first exercise okay now let's do the second one for the second one you're going to need a weight okay so make sure you're ready to start and see you in a second all right here we go with the second exercise okay you need a weight here one leg in front of you one leg back back leg turned out 45 degrees just to keep you in balance during this exercise you put some yoga blocks near your front foot 
both legs are straight okay now depending on your level of flexibility you need to adjust the blocks but the exercise is this one we're going to do six repetitions okay so you go down straight lower and middle back you feel the stretch and you come back up you go down you load the front leg and you come back really try to load the front leg three load the front leg four five and on the last one we want to stay here five breaths three four five okay now you change your legs let's assume you have more flexibility rather than doing that i want to do that okay so same same 45 degrees on the back foot one leg in front of you now approximately the distance from one foot to the other uh, it's just like you make like a little lunge okay this is the position you need to feel that you have control in the position don't spread your legs too wide apart okay now from this position again straight lower middle back i go down i, I load the front leg i touch the blocks and i come back up i really try to drive my head in front of me two in front of me with my head three and four and five really try to push your butt back and six one two three four and five and you come back up in the position Woo, really nice now six repetitions okay at each rep you try to stay in the bottom position for a couple of seconds and on the last one you stay there for five breaths okay now if you have only 15 minutes of course you do one set on each side but if you have also maybe five minutes more you can do also and it's better to do two sets per side okay so this is the second exercise see you in a second with the third one all right guys the third exercise of this routine here the 15 minute routine for the hamstrings now in the previous exercise we have worked the top part of this exercise now we're going to work the bottom part so the part where we have our trunk completely against the leg okay the legs or in this case only one leg now the position is the exact same position of the previous exercise so one leg behind you one leg in front of you the back leg is turned out 45 degrees both legs are straight here but now you want to bend your front leg until you have your chest in contact with your knee okay and your front shin bone perpendicular to the floor okay from this position here what you want to do is to drive your head in front of you you want to keep some yoga blocks by your side and this way you can support the position better here now you want to grab your front knee with your arm here and you grab the opposite elbow and from this position here you straighten the leg now it's not important that you completely straighten the leg just go and feel the stretch as soon as as like you feel the stretch then that is the correct position okay now you hold two three four five and six now to apply a pnf contraction i pull up with my trunk 
I am fixed with my arm, 10 to 15 seconds. I pull, 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 as if I wanna like bring my body up away from the front leg. Pull, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I stop the PNF contraction. I relax my leg and then I come back into the stretch. I try to straighten the leg a little bit more. Again, one, two, don't lose the contact between your chest and knee. Four, keep your hips in line. Five, and six. Perfect. I want to repeat on the other leg. Same, same. Blocks by your side. You bend your front leg here. You grab your front knee. And then straighten your leg and that's it. You stay here, you try to push your butt back and your head, in f and your head forward in front of you and you feel a nice sensation of stretch here. I'm at three breaths now. Four, five, and six, I want to apply a PNF contraction. I pull up with my trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I release the contraction. Inhale. And on my exhale, I try to get deeper. As you can see, I relax and then I go. And I try to get deeper, which doesn't mean that I need to completely straighten my leg. I just want to keep it bent, feel a nice sensation of stretch here, keep the contact between my chest and my knee, and I just go here. The purpose is to push the butt up, my head in front of me, keep the chest in contact with the knee, and straighten my leg as much as I can. Of course, a straight lower and middle back. But it will come naturally in this position. I'm at five and six. Ooh, and that's it. Okay. So this is our third exercise for the 15-minute hamstrings routine. Now, see you in a second with the fourth and last exercise. All right, guys, we're almost done. The last exercise here, the one leg pike on floor. Okay, both the one leg variation and, and both legs variation, okay? Now, to do this exercise here, you need a yoga block, okay? You start with your legs on floor here. You bend both legs, okay? Now, from this position here, you wanna place the yoga block between your um, your knee and your chest, if you need to, of course. If if you can touch your your knee, then don't use the yoga block. But if you need that, then you can use maybe a yoga block like that or like that. Okay. So let's start the timer now. Here I go with my chest against the knee. Okay. I grab my foot and I straighten the other leg and I try to hold this position here. Now, if I am ready, I can strengthen even my working leg, this leg here, as far as I can. Then as soon as I feel the stretch, I stop and I hold. Eight breaths here. I'm at three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. And then I bend the, the other leg. I come back into the starting position. I repeat the same on the other leg, okay? So here, I straighten the other leg. I go down. I straighten the leg. As soon as I feel the stretch, I stop. I just stay here. One, two, 
three, four, five. Head in front of you, but back six, seven, but back head in front of you, and eight. Now remember that your legs are not like joined together, but they are slightly apart. Okay. Now from this position here, you want to join your legs. Okay. You bend your legs. You grab your foot, uh, your feet. Okay. Now, of course, you can use a block if you can't like reach your um, your legs with your chest, but if you can do that you can you can use like nothing between your your chest and your knees now from this position here you want to grab your feet now of course here you want to do like this is the hardest position of the sequence and you want to give your 100% here okay now make sure that you try to feel the stretch as much as you can, which means that maybe you lose the mm, the correct activation on your back. It's fine, okay? It's the last pose. You want to give your 100% here, okay? So you want to do your best, okay? So maybe your technique won't be uh, perfect, okay? But that's fine. Just do your best here. So bent legs, chest against the knees, you can use also the block, one or more blocks, it doesn't matter. From this position here, you want to hold your feet and you want to straighten both your legs. You find your position and you just stay there. You want to do your best here, really do your best. Try to push your butt back and your head in front of you don't lose the contact between your chest and your knees or your chest and the blocks and stay here the last 10 breaths one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh yeah, perfect. And that's it. That's it, guys. 15 minutes here to work on your hamstrings. And I really hope that this routine here will help you increase your hamstrings and posterior chain flexibility okay now if you give this routine a go please let me know in the comments also if you have any further questions on that okay if you enjoyed the content please hit that like button with that said that's all from the flexibility guy coach alia have a nice stretch and see you in the next video